Hello guys, if you remember uh, how I define Internet of Things in my previous lectures that there are three main components, just to recap. Uh, the first one, uh, an IoT device must have sensors or actuators. Uh, secondly, it must have ways to communicate uh, through any means of connectivity, uh, different technologies. And the thirdly is that it has an applications or analytics so that you can look at the data and get some insight of that. So to move forward, uh, what makes IoT, you know, uh, become the most hype word that people have been talking about for the last one or two years? Uh, actually, it doesn't appear just uh, like that. It actually comprises of different technologies. Without these technologies, we will not be able to see uh, the takeoff of Internet of Things. If you look at uh, the last 10 years, uh, there are various technologies that which comprise that will help to enable uh, Internet of Things such as the sensors are becoming more cheaper, 50% cheaper than before. Uh, and on top of that, we have been seeing a lot of uh, bandwidth, uh, especially in wireless. Uh, you remember the times when we only have you know, 64 kilobit per second or even less than that. Now, you can even have uh, 20 megabit or even 100 megabit per second depending on what kind of uh, wireless technology that you use. And thirdly, you look at the, the processing power and the intelligence that have been built into the devices, uh, sensors which have this processing power, you will be able to be much more smarter in terms of delivering the context uh, within that device or surrounding device. Fourthly, your smartphone itself has been becoming your personal gateway to the internet. Uh, remember the days that only a uh, smartphone has been used for voice communications or your internet uh, browsing, but IoT will use your smartphone as a gateway to the internet because most of the devices, uh, sensors that we have at our home will not be able to have uh, direct access to the whole internet. So you might use your own uh, smartphone to go there. <coughs> and uh, you look at the, the wireless coverage that we have been seeing now is that not only the free Wi-Fi that you have been uh, using, but there are you know, wireless coverage everywhere, almost uh, even in the jungle. And now you have technologies like Sigfox and LoRa to have a wireless sensor network that can reach beyond 5, 10, 15 kilometers away. And on top of this, you have this big data, the cloud and the, uh, the way that you want to crunch and analyze your data, getting a better insights of the data that you have collected from various sources of devices and also the back-end systems. And finally, if you remember the IPv4, is not, it's not capable of handling uh, as many addressable address to individual devices, so you need IPv6. People say that, you know, the amount of address that we can uh, assign to uh, any device is just like you're assigning uh, the sands at the seaside. Each sand uh, will be able to have an IP address. Even people say you can even assign a bullet to have an IPv6 address. So this is about... Uh, how technologies that have been combined for the last 10 years that which make IoT is possible. So check out for my next video talking about Internet of Things. Thank you very much. Bye.